March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and here with the latest on the importance of early detection and screenings, please welcome the director of the Colorectal Cancer uh, uh, Cancer Program at Cedar Sinai, Dr. Zuri Murrell. Welcome, hey, Doctor. Well, it's nice you. to have you here. Thank with you us. very much, and thank you for having me on to actually talk about this important topic. And okay, uh, yeah, let's jump into the statistics. Where do we stand right. on this right now? With so, about 140,000 Americans will be diagnosed with colon cancer every year. Okay, and about 50,000 die every year. And this sounds horrible. Yeah. And it is horrible. And what makes it so bad is that this is preventable. And the reason I went into this field is because I wanted to make a change and I, and I saw that there was so much to do out there and people are dying unnecessarily. Sure. Well, how important is it uh, for early detection? Right, well, early yeah. detection is the key. Realize if we detect, uh, what I always tell people is that the way we detect colon cancer is actually the way we also prevent it. Mm -hmm. Colonoscopy, and that's what we're gonna talk about a little later, but colonoscopy is the key. All colon cancer starts out as little polyps, a little growth. And actually during this colonoscopy, you actually take the growth before it becomes a cancer. So it actually prevents colon cancer. Wow. Well, so when do you start this screening yeah. process? So the average age, if you have no symptoms, the age is at 50. And okay. for African Americans, it's actually 45. And you get this colonoscopy, you know, it's it's... A lot of people don't seem to get it because they're scared of it. You know? Yeah, why, why, I mean, okay, so let's just break this down. They're yeah. afraid of the operation itself because a rather large instrument has to be used, <laughs> and it's frightening <laughs> to think about that. Exactly, and, and people are also embarrassed. Uh -huh. My father, I can't even say what I really do at the dinner table because he's like, I don't want to hear about this right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, what I always tell people is that you shouldn't die from fear and mm -hmm. you shouldn't die from embarrassment. Right. And yeah. basically with the procedure, you go to sleep, you wake up, you're done. You feel nothing. Yeah, I, I right. think most people think it's going to be uncomfortable. It's not. Exactly. I've had uh, three of them, Fantastic. and you just go to sleep, you get up, and then I went shopping. Oh, yeah. I yeah. went out to lunch. <laughs> exactly. It was fine. Exactly. So uh, let's talk. You had mentioned the symptoms. Yes. What, what are we looking for in this doctor? Well, this goes back to why screening is so important, is that the yeah. symptoms are very nonspecific. So it's just a change in bowel habits, occasional abdominal pain, sometimes rectal bleeding. But you can see those are very nonspecific. Yeah, we, we, those yeah. are normal because yeah. people have them every once in a while. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so if, unfortunately, if those symptoms actually happen and they're attributable to cancer, it may be it's kind of late in the game. And so that's why the key is screening when you have no symptoms, when you have no issues, because you won't really know. Sure. And, you know, once again, the most important thing I tell people is that col colonoscopy is not to... Uh, find cancer. Colonoscopy is to prevent, prevent cancer. It. Yeah. The, uh, is there a age that we want to start? If we don't have these, we still, because you at said if you're seeing this, so at right. 50 age is when 50 we want to start Age 50 is doing. when uh, most people need to start, and they actually just change it for African Americans age 45 because of the more aggressive nature of the cancer. Sure. Um, do, does insurance cover this? Yeah, insurance does cover this, um, and, and that's very important because uh, Screening, it covers most screening tests, so right. that's not a problem. So uh, what can we do to prevent? Because you had talked to, you know, about some of this stuff. But is there things that we can do to make sure yeah, we're doing prevent. the best? Right. Yeah. Well, as your previous guest was saying, your fitness expert, you know, working out is key. Uh -huh. And a healthy diet is essential. And so fiber, fiber, fiber. We have some, <laughs> some things here yeah. on our table. So, which, by the way, Sophie had pretty much the same things the other day when she was yes. talking about the importance of uh, the food groups and what exactly. is the highest in, I guess, fi uh, phytonutrient, fiber. Mm -hmm. fiber and right. phytonutrients. Yeah. And so the reason that fiber is so important, fiber and water, is because, you know, you hear doctors say this all the time. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Well, fiber actually helps increase the transit time from when you eat food to when you eliminate waste. That's why fiber is so important. Mm -hmm. And so prunes actually have about 13 grams of fiber. Now, most of my patients don't like prunes for whatever reason. So one alternative to that, berries. Everybody loves berries. Blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, those mm -hmm. all have about 7.2 grams of fiber per cup. So, you know, what I, what I like to recommend is since you need about 20 to 25 grams of fiber a day, I throw two cups of that in a blender and mix up with either almond milk or whatever you want to use. And mm -hmm. then that's my the, in a protein powder. Yep. And that's, uh, what, that's my breakfast. Yeah, I will do that. I do the berries or I'll do this. Well, you do all of this in the morning and have yeah, it juiced. Yeah, but I try to do, yeah. Lots I do, of spinach. But I don't juice it so much. I do the, because I want to keep the fiber. I want right. to oh. keep the fiber that's in there. Uh, what are, are we looking at supplements down here? Right. So out? other supplements that are, that more and more research are showing that are very helpful is vitamin D and calcium um, and also one other thing that's very important is decreasing how much red meat we eat so other lean meats like chicken and fish are, are 
great in terms of uh, antioxidants and mm -hmm. and they don't lead to uh, cancer formation. Why is red meat so bad for you? Well, you know, it's very interesting is the way we break down red meat we break it down into something that actually can can help a pro carcinogen which is something that can help over time stimulate cancer now this is not all red meat all the time you can indulge every once in a while but it's just not all the time fantastic well another message that we certainly want to share with our viewers out there is that the colon cancer alliance and its uh, partner uh, Dula, uh du du sorry Ducalax. Ducalax, Ducalax. Uh, Ducalax. is raising awareness uh, the topic and the importance of these screenings that uh, we've been talking with here uh, with our doctor about uh, can't stress enough early detection critical more than 90 percent of all cases of colon cancer can be cured with a recommended screening and start at 50 yes sir. start at 50 uh, and uh, go from there. unless of course you have a history exactly when you start earlier yeah. perfect um, and if you want more information uh, please visit uh, dr. Murrell uh, Murrell at la colon surgeon dot com